What is up, YouTube? It is me at iPhoneCaptain.com, and we're checking out five awesome tweaks this week. Uh, I was a little bit late getting this video out yesterday, but we've been pretty busy here at iPhone Captain. If you can't tell, uh, subscribe to the RSS feed, and you'll get a better understanding of what we're talking about. We put out a least, you know, three to seven or eight posts every day on the iOS device, so be sure and check it out. Anyway, guys, we're looking at, on the screen here, a new tweak, and it is a free tweak called Notify Censored. And as you can see here, what this one will do is it will actually take the message out of the notification, and that way some of your friends or your girlfriend or wife can't tell who's, who's texting or what they're texting. I mean, you can go in and actually change it up to do several different things and as you see if you're going to notify censored right here uh, you can turn it on and off for different apps if there's a specific application that you do want to receive notifications for then you, you can just leave the little toggle turned off then right here where you see it says custom text I actually entered in message from and that's what you were seeing there now that little tiny notification thing there that don't come with it that's a different tweak one we've already covered now this next one is my favorite of the day it's called safari enhancer 10 now guys this is a very nice tweak especially for the bigger devices like the 7 plus and the ipads so if you go into safari you see up here at the top my url bar disappears see that making it give me all that new screen real estate up at the top. So it just adds so much more, and you can also eliminate the side swipe, and that's something that's always bugging me. Like when I'm trying to scroll up the page, I accidentally swipe to the left, and it, it takes me to the page before. If any of you have had that trouble, all you got to do is download Safari Enhancer 10, come in here and flip on what you want. Also, you see here I have the black keyboard turned on. So if we go into Safari in here and see what it says when I pull up my... There's the black keyboard. It's just a real subtle black, probably more of a gray than a black. So I really probably wouldn't even call it a black. So, And you also get endless tabs. Very, very awesome little, little app, guys. And if you haven't checked it out, I recommend you do so. Really cool. A lot of customizations in here. You can even turn the blue keyboard on, enable a tab bar, a tab bar, better tabs. You see, I've got unlimited tabs on. You can actually turn on close all tabs if you don't want any tabs. Uh, don't open a new tab and disable private mode. So if you don't want to uh, surf the web in private mode, you can actually disable that. That's called Safari Enhancer 10. And the other one we looked at was called Notify Censored. The next one we're going to talk about is called Widgetification X. Now, although that does sound like some type of a witch spell, Widgetification X, that's sort of hard to say. Uh, it really does an awesome job. If you go in here and turn on your lock screen, you'll see what I'm talking about. Sorry about that. Uh, go to your lock screen and swipe over, and you'll see what I mean. I've actually got the little square flat look here in my notifications. Uh, it's actually, this is the widgetification here. You can add more widgets, customize your widgets, put them in any order you want. All you have to do is go into widgetification here, back down to settings, and right here you see, you could got, I've got the flat widgets uh, selected. And here you can actually hide things if you don't want the... Uh, widget icon or widget title the show more any of that stuff and then here under widgets where it says toggle one two three four you can actually turn on and off the transparent header background the sleek unified mask transparent background with header uh i actually did a little bit of a customization here and that's how i got the flat look uh you see here i got toggle one and two on so it says i have the transparent header and the tra transparent background so that's what I was going for. And if you change something here, it will require a respring. Now, the next one we're talking about is called Volume, uh, YouTube Volume. Now, this is 
turned out to be a pretty big deal here lately. Everybody is getting sort of sick and tired of that big volume HUD. And what I'm talking about is if you go into settings here, go to volume HUD, I'm going to turn this off. And now if I hit my, I'm going to open Safari up just to give you the real feel here. If I hit my up key, my volume up, look how much of the screen that blocks. If you were trying to read something right in the center of the screen and you turned your volume up, that's going to be right in the way. Now, there is another tweak called Bye Bye HUD that I was recently using and uh, really liked it. Uh, right up here it is. Now, they're very much alike. And if you turn it on, you see when you go up, look at that. Look at that HUD up there at the top. Bye Bye HUD. Pretty much the same thing. But in this Bye Bye HUD, you actually get three different choices. Now, I'm showing you this because volume HUD, or YouTube volume, really just gives you the YouTube look. Now, you see that up there? That's all you got, okay? But needless to say, that's an awesome tweak, guys. It gets rid of that big, bulky volume HUD right in the center of the screen, and it does make it look like the volume uh, on the YouTube uh, when you're watching a video on YouTube. So this developer actually did exactly what he said he would do. And the best of all, it's free. Guys, that is YouTube volume. Now, we've looked at YouTube volume. Widgetification, that's two. Safari Enhancer 10 is three. Notify Censored is four. Last but not least, we're looking at Moose. Now, what does Moose do? Whoever heard of such a tweak called Moose? If you go in here to your settings... I'm not settings, but into your notes. And if you highlight something, look what color that is. Normally, that's supposed to be like blue or is it green. I think it's like blue. Now it's red. But it could be any color I wanted it to be by going to settings and going to moose. You see here, I can actually change this to be whatever color I want. Now it looks like some kind of a green color. Uh, you see that changed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, all you have to do is pretty much open mo open up settings. I'm sorry, open up your app switcher, close notes. Now open notes back up. Now it should be green. And voila. Can somebody call me magic man? Guys, hit that thumbs up button. It won't kill you. And hit that subscribe button. I'm working hard for you. I need these i need this help hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button here i am putting it out there for you guys if you aren't a subscriber please hit that subscribe button share this video with all of your social media friends and keep coming back